Welcome to Norfolk Perspective City Slice. I'm Bob Batcher, and I'm on the sofa over here with two friends, I'm going to say. Started off as residents involved in planning a great event, but have become friends. Jack Cavanaugh? Probably. He's got down here uh, Rear Admiral Jack Cavanaugh, USN retired, but you've been so engaged in the city, I think it's about time we drop that. What do you think? Fine with me. So what would you as like to As long as the paycheck keeps coming <laughs> there, uh, Yeah, we don't want Andy to get no. uh, nervous there. No. But no, you have taken your retirement years and have been extremely active with the city of Norfolk. I have because I absolutely love the city. It's done great things for me and for the military, and I just feel it's time to give back to them. So for the last oh, 15 years, I've just tried to be a good citizen and do a lot of stuff and make the city even better than it already is. It's been 15 years? Well, I, no, it's longer. I retired wow. in 96, uh, so that's 17 years. Nikki Southall, you are not retired. I'm not retired. So here you are in the middle of life trying with the kids, the mm -hmm. husband, the mm -hmm. job, mm -hmm. and yet you're always available to serve the residents. Why is that? Because I feel on the opposite side of Jack, has, he's going into it in his retirement. And me being involved in my Civic League, I've noticed that there's a lot of people who do get involved after they retire. But in my case, I wanted to make an impact because my children attend Norfolk Public Schools. I live in Norfolk. And it's my generation's, my age group that needs to kind of pick up and take off because as good as Jack is at what he does, Jack's going to say, I want to have time to myself, and he's not going to do it anymore. And it's up to me and my generation to kind of pick mm -hmm. up where he is not going to leave off for a long time. And that's true in any, <laughs> only, any service organization, whether it's Rotary or Sotoma, you got to have new, younger mm -hmm. people coming in to pick up to fill in. when the geezers are ready to go. <laughs> so that's one way of looking <laughs> at it. You didn't, didn't say it. You didn't say it. He did. Yeah, I did. Now, okay, a year ago, you guys are kind of uh, sitting around, and you get a phone call from us saying, hey, we want you to join a team. Mm -hmm. And when we told you, we really weren't sure what that team was going to look like, but here's what we think. We want to turn it over to you. Right. And that was the uh, NBN, Neighbors Building Neighborhood Leadership uh, Team. And then we said, and we want to turn over the neighborhood uh, front porch summit to you. Right. What would you think? Well, we were all involved in it last year, mm -hmm. not as much as we are this year. <laughs> <laughs> we figured, well, it's a challenge, but it's something the citizens should do. If you're going to talk about neighborhoods, who better to talk about them than the Civic League presidents, the vice presidents, and those involved with it? So it was a challenge, so we decided to jump to it. Okay, well, let me throw another one in there, though. Then come around, I don't know, end of May, mm -hmm. we said, hey, look, we've applied for uh, <laughs> this All-America City. You think you can make it work for us? And we said, w uh, okay, <laughs> okay, we're, we're going to Denver. Yeah. And we got together and we practiced and we had some really smart people on the team and we just came up with our scripts and um, we put our own personal experiences into it. I think that's why the judges mm -hmm. liked it so much. We were there, and we we brought home an award. So we're now in All America City. That's awesome. Yeah, and, and the flags look wonderful. Don't they look they wonderful? Do. They're, They're all over the place. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, and I, I I wanted to mention that because I think what we're about ready to talk about is the the, the 2013 Neighborhood Expo, mm -hmm. not to be confused with the Front Porch Summit. We scratched that. Yeah, and I and I got to be honest with you that that uh, traditional model of uh, we have the wisdom in City Hall, we're going to build a model, and you all will come. Mm -hmm. You've kind of thrown out the window for us and mm -hmm. said, wait a minute, maybe mm -hmm. if we designed it, mm -hmm. not only can we get more people there, but it would be more meaningful for us. Well, don't funny, forget yeah. the person that threw that gauntlet out was Marcus With Jones, the right. as the, new, the new city manager. He that. is the one that showed the leadership to get out and say, hey, mm -hmm. we want you all to tell us we can do better. I mean, we had that in the, had that in in the, the All-American play. Right. You know, he said, you need garbage cans? And we said, no, we don't. We need something else. So, that's right. It, it's, it's his leadership that's, that started this. Well, a piece of uh, his leadership was uh, not part of the presentation, but I remember one of the follow-up questions where he talked about being the city manager of 5,000 employees. But mm -hmm. if you look at a quarter of a million residents, mm -hmm. we now have a quarter million. So everybody has a role to play. That's right. And that's kind of what the Neighborhood Expo is going to be kind of laying out for us. So since you all designed it, and I have no idea what it's about, <laughs> Tell me about it. What's well, it going to be? Let's when it is. You give, you give it the when, white. Okay, word. that sounds but good. But it's Saturday, October 19th, mm -hmm. 10 to 2, mm -hmm. and it's going to be at the new, brand, brand new, new Southside Aquatic Center down in Campostella Road, mm -hmm. which has yeah. just had a soft opening, I think, a week or two ago. Um, there's going to be a lot of things to do for families, for Civic League folks, for kids. Mm -hmm. And, you know, what are we doing for kids? 
for kids, we're having face painting, we're having pumpkins that they can paint. There's going to be activities. Uh, there's going to be a ball pit. It says it's uh, on the premise of, you know, take a ball, make a friend. Mm -hmm. There's going to be questions to basically engage the neighbors and people. A lot of times, and we we talked about this in the beginning of we, we had our having our NBN meetings that my neighborhood might not know as much as Jack's neighborhood. Mm -hmm. And why is that? It's because there hasn't been any type of integration. And it's not because of anything other than the fact that we just don't know. So well, that's what we're trying to do. Everybody wants to do their own thing. And right. yet, my old saying that you love so much is vice is nice, but plagiarism is best. Mm -hmm. One civic league is doing something. Why does why can't we they? have to re reinvent the wheel? So the wheel. Yeah. all the different civic leagues will be there. They'll Not all of them, but many are offered to be there. They'll have a table. Mm -hmm. That's free for the civic leagues. They can come out and make a presentation, have hands out. We're going to have businesses and groups there that can help communities do things. We've raised a few bucks this year to do it. We've got some good sponsors That's that have come sponsors. through with, yeah. with some money to help us do a little more. So we're excited. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, it's, it's four hours. You come, you go, you, you do, you know, you, you check out the, the new aquatic center. There'll be uh, shuttle buses from, shuttle buses. Uh, late, from um, Lake Taylor, Lake Taylor Elementary now, School to bring you here if you don't want to get down there and park. Mm -hmm. and, and those buses were organized by? By the... That was organized by the Federation of Federation Civic Leagues. Right, it, it was a sponsor that we asked And they're to paying us. for that. That's right. And we'll be have food trucks will be there. There will another, be food trucks. Another uh, aspect of the city of Norfolk that's kind of taken off is that we invited some food trucks to come. So there'll be food trucks there. There'll be entertainment there. there we'll have the um, stage, so we'll have entertainment. So it's going to be a good way for people to come and if they might not know about a neighborhood or service or something that they could uh, use within within their neighborhood and a part of it is that some of the things that they've learned like Jack was saying take it to your mm -hmm. neighborhood take it to your civic league so that way you can have a better way to engage your own neighborhood not just oh I learned about it at the, the, the Norfolk Neighborhood Expo and then I mm -hmm. forget about it part of it's I think that's probably the biggest lesson we've learned because in the and as was shown in the presentation at uh, in Denver when the conversation is between the, the resident and City Hall it's kind of a you know I need and mm -hmm. you can have but if we can make it more of a horizontal, it, it can be much broader and stronger between residents. Well, look at the example that just came out yesterday with the downtown Norfolk Civic League. They were pushing to get um, recycling containers. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, you got a problem downtown. You got garbage cans and not a lot. So they found a, a dual container that's recycling on one side, garbage on trash on the other side, and they've got it rolled out this week. So John Duell and Kevin Murphy did a great job pulling that out, and that's. Civic mm -hmm. leagues and the city working together. Mm -hmm. Well, and already, though, I've seen, uh, like in the, in the leadership meeting, that you, you might bring something up and somebody else from another neighborhood says, wait a minute, how did you conquer that? Or the infamous website, how can you get a website going? Mm -hmm. That kind yeah. of sharing of information between residents and yeah. between civic It's leagues. been really um, interesting when we come to the meetings. It seems like every time we have a meeting, there's something new that somebody knows that somebody else didn't know. Mm -hmm. Or And another thing is that, everybody's always willing to share ideas. It's never, well, my Civic League did this. I don't want, you know, Jack Civic League. <laughs> no, it's always been about, you know, expanding what the city can do best, not only for its residents, but to flip it around and what the residents can do for the city. And because we have, there's so many areas in Norfolk a lot of people don't really know about. Part of it is South Side. There are some people that might not even know anything about the South Side of Norfolk, but when you come out on the 19th, you're going to find out that this beautiful aquatic center is sitting right down the street, ready to be used by all the citizens of Norfolk. All you have to do mm -hmm. is just come out. And it's just right it's over It's just the right, over, right the over the bridge. But yet there was some push, but come on, where's, where's Campus House so far away? Right. The building was still under construction. That's right. You guys had this vision? We had a vision. We thought about where can we spotlight different areas in Norfolk, because that's exactly what an expo for neighborhoods is, Ex you know, show broadcasting your neighborhood. So we thought of the Southside Aquatic Center. Next year we might have it someplace else. Right. We might have it at the new YMCA. Uh, that's or the new Croc Center. Or the new Croc Center. Just wherever we can be able to get. Hey, guys, could I ask you a favor? Yes. Can we get to October 19th? <laughs> Trust me. You're already thinking Trust ahead. Me, we, that's uh, a piece of cake. <laughs> we're already on the way there. Okay, October 19th, that's right. 10, to, 10, to 10, to 10 to 2. 10 to 2. And there's going to be. There's going to be food trucks there, so food you can buy trucks, some food, but there's also going to be some free food. Popcorn, there's going to be bananas. bananas. Got to have we water. Got to water. be healthy, guys. Water That's from right. the city. That's right. All water right. from the city. We're going to have two breakout sessions, one with the um, superintendent of Norfolk Public Schools. Right. We're going to have um, basic uh, 
activities, just all kinds of things for not only kids but adults to be able to come together and have a good time on a wonderful Saturday. It's going to be sunny. And if you don't take the <laughs> shuttle bus, you drive, you park down at Kemp Stella Elementary, which is a block or two yeah, away, but we'll away. have shuttles come going back up. and forth if you if you can't you make a little of everything. We try. Now, we're citizens. We That's can't why have, we do There we go. We can't <laughs> have an event without having awards. So we're going to have some really cool awards the called cool the, awards. Cool the Cool Awards. awards. The Cool Awards. Yep, there's in five or six of those. There's one for the, the best small business in the neighborhood, one for the best project in a neighborhood. Mm -hmm. um, best overall civic league, best. It, it, there's, it's a way to basically um, spotlight the neighborhoods and all of the good things that they're doing right. with civic leadership and engagement. So they were nominated, and we don't know who the winners are yet. We'll find out on Saturday. That's so. right. Now, let me ask you about that person who's watching. So, okay, they're talking all about these civic leagues, but we don't have a civic league, or I don't know who my civic league is. Can they come? Yeah. Sure. That's who you want Actually, to come. Actually, you want more of those yeah. types of people there. People who don't have that interaction. And the, rather than the city of Norfolk website, if you go into neighborhoods, there it's a list of all the different civic associates, civic leagues, and mine's an association because I've got, you know, residents and businesses, mm -hmm. but it's on there. So if you if you don't think you're in a civic league, you got to go on board, uh, mm -hmm. onto that website and see if you may, you may have one you don't know it. That's right. Now, Jack, I'm going to put you on the spot because you, and you mentioned you, you have an association. Yeah, come on, your neighborhood. There's no issues there, right? The, I mean, the, so how are you keeping it alive? The, the, or toughest, are there the toughest issue in Freemason is we started because of all the historic mm -hmm. issues. So we started in 1968, 67 as a historic area. When if you re, you probably don't recall, you were too young. I don't because I didn't live here. But they were going to put a Mm -hmm. Freeway, Freeway, right through Freemason, all those old 200-year-old homes. And a few residents got up and stopped it. So we started with the historic. Now we've got probably 3,000 people down there with all the condos and the, and the apartments that have gone down there. When I moved into Freemason in 1999, there, you know, uh, Art Collins hadn't done any heritage. Right. Those were all ugly parking lots, and there was nothing down uh, next to the Wisconsin. Pierpoint wasn't there. So it's been a big change. So our, our challenge is to try and encourage all the new younger people that are there to get involved in the city. Mm -hmm. and we have. We've, we've, the last couple of meetings we've had, there's been a, a lot of younger people in there. They've come out for the neighborhood cleanups, so I'm, I'm encouraged. We've got a, I've got a website that, that's so-so. I've got an email list that's, you know, got a thousand people on it. Probably send out too many in some people's minds. It keeps I, people in <laughs> So you're, in other words, you're going to go to the expo and kind of look up, I just caught from you, you better anyway, how to improve your website. Absolutely. Uh -huh. That's a good one. So, but, it's a, but, you know, where I, I was teasing you about Freemason because I remember you and I really got to know each other during light rail construction because there was, I mean, talk about conflict. Did, oh, you know, yeah. it's the same thing. <laughs> so, and so those kind of issues really bring people together. But That's when those right. issues aren't there, it's right. also a great way to stay connected in your right. neighborhood. My neighborhood, I know light rail runs through Ingleside, so of course my neighborhood was impacted. But out, like you said, once the, um, the up and down of the light rail went away, as far as the conflict, um, you look out and you see all these children, 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 kids, families everywhere. So I know we pushed hard to get a new rec center. Mm -hmm. We pushed hard to get the new gymnasium, and that opened last year. And we were fortunate enough that we just got our the rain garden from um, the uh, the interns, the interns no, the from the city, yeah, from the city of Norfolk. So it's more about keeping that engagement going when the hot button items kind of fall away you know it's about what is your neighborhood really made of my neighborhood is completely different from jack's but we all share the same you know common goals of trying to you know make sure our neighborhood is safe make sure the children are safe uh... we have schools in our neighborhood so we just want to keep that connection going and always have an, a way to have that connection between the city the the uh... neighborhood and uh, the neighborhood and the neighbors that are in it. So I think that'll and be I a good idea. Different. We have we have six children in Freemason. <laughs> <laughs> I know them so all personally. We're going to put these two together on October 19th <laughs> at the Southside Aquatic Center. Come on down and really get connected with your city through your neighborhood. We want to see you there. Thanks a lot.